In the heart of southern Africa, where the granite ruins of Great Zimbabwe rise from the rolling hills, there once lived an astronomer named Niasha. As the village's night sky watcher, Niasha spent countless evenings mapping the movements of the stars and planets, using only her keen eyesight and the knowledge passed down by her ancestors. Her curiosity and determination led her to notice patterns in the sunrise and sunset, and how the shadows of the stone towers shifted with the seasons. One day, Niasha gathered a group of skilled stone masons and shared her vision, to build a stone observatory that could help her people track the solstices and the dance of distant planets. With patience and precision, the team constructed a ring of upright stones, each carefully placed to align with the sun's position at the summer and winter solstices. In the center, a tall pillar cast a shadow that would move across markings on the ground, letting Niasha predict the changing seasons with remarkable accuracy. The observatory soon became a center of learning, drawing visitors from neighboring villages. Niasha taught others to read the stars and record the passage of time, using her stone calendar to guide planting and harvests. Her observations revealed that certain planets followed predictable paths, and she marked their appearances with small, painted stones placed within the ring, creating one of the earliest known records of planetary motion in the region. Though centuries have passed, and the people of Great Zimbabwe have moved on, the ruins of Niasha's observatory still stand, a silent testament to her ingenuity. The knowledge she shared helped her community thrive, and her legacy lives on in the stories told by elders who remember the woman who read the sky and built wonders from stone. Niasha's story, though little known, is a reminder of the scientific brilliance that flourished in ancient Africa, written in the shadows and the stars.